In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at the remote configuration capabilities of TC Server through the vFabric Hyperic dashboard. In this environment, we have one platform named Jove, and on Jove there are five different instances of DC Server running. What we want to do for this demo is to enable detailed garbage collection logging on TC Runtime Instance 3. We start by clicking on the instance name in the dashboard. By default, when we drill into the resource, we land on the Monitor tab, where we see some of the performance metrics we are tracking. To make configuration changes, we switch over to the Views tab, then click on the button for Server Configuration. When we drill into Server Configuration, we now see the various areas of configuration laid out. Before we enable garbage collection logging, we want to quickly drill into one other area of configuration, Data Source Creation. Here, we can easily define a new database connection with TC Server offering both the traditional Commons DBCP and the new high concurrency data source connection types. If we need assistance in creating a data source, we can click the Guide Me button and then choose the database that we want to create a connection to. And it will pre populate the syntax for me. So, TC Server is designed to assist administrators in performing routine tasks by simplifying them and providing them help along the way. Let's go back to the launch pad for configuration and go into Server Start because enabling garbage collection is a JVM startup change. Here, you can see that we have laid out all the JVM startup parameters. You can see the non default parameters are specified. We've done some out of the box tuning with TC Server that differentiates it from ASF Tomcat. We also provide guidelines for users in terms of sizing the system based on operating system type. Note that we also provide one click pop up documentation for users so that if you're going to be setting configuration parameters, you have the information you need to make the changes here and don't need to leave the page for documentation. We'll scroll down to the bottom of the page where the garbage collection parameters are. We're going to run down the checkboxes here to easily enable very detailed garbage collection logging. In this box is where we would paste the path where we want the log file written. Then we'll hit Save. Because this is a JVM startup parameter change, it rolls out in two phases. The first phase is to push the changes to the actual configuration file on the file system. And that's what we're doing now. The second phase is to bounce the server to have these changes take effect. We can restart the server right now with this link, but we want to highlight the fact that with TC Server, we have the ability to schedule a restart in the future. To schedule a restart for later, we would click New and select Restart and then choose a time. For the sake of this demo, we'll restart it here in real time. The server is now restarting. We can see live progress. One highlight here is that restarting TC Server will typically take much less time than your standard J2EE server. We expect to see a restart on the order of 10 to 15 seconds. The system has now been restarted. It took 12 seconds and this instance is now collecting detailed garbage log information.